So we got one of our last nice days outside uh, in September and I wanted to use it to show you how to do a uh, makeshift flow test for your uh, figuring out how much uh, uh, flow you have for your uh, f available for your sprinkler system. So what you're going to need is a five gallon pail, a measuring cup and your uh, water outlet. Um, what you're going to do first is five gallon pail doesn't actually hold five gallons of water. So what you're going to do, use your measuring cup to figure out how full you need to fill the uh, 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 the five gallon pail to uh, get it to five gallons. So we're just going to go ahead and fill that up uh, using our measuring cup. And uh, just so you know, five gallons is about 19 liters. You're going to put your 19th liter in there, or 5 gallons. And then you're going to take a marker, and you're just going to mark off how high that water level is, roughly. And you can do it on both sides if you need to, because it'll probably wash off when you... Uh, dump the water out. So next thing you're going to do is uh, dump the water out and then we'll get on to measuring our flow. So just check your watch and you're going to start this going full without the bucket underneath. When you get to a time, start to fill up the bucket. And stop your time when you get uh, to the mark that you made on the bucket. Now that was about 35 seconds or so. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, 300 and divide it by the number of seconds you had. So in my case I'd do 300 divided by 35 and that number is going to get me my gallons per minute. So um, that's basically how you do a flow test.